Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Pisces general guidance message for the upcoming week. Now if you find the message is helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Also guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. And at the end of these general messages, I pull out my pendulum for you to ask a yes or no question. So be sure to hold the question in your mind until the end. Most important message here for Pisces, Spirit, what do my Piscean friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Five of Cups. This is an energy, it says sadness on the card, but this is really an energy of resentment, an energy of regret, regret, an energy of loss. And we have the death energy. So it's like maybe regretting that you ended something with a particular person that you weren't ready to let go of. Regretting how something ended between you and another person. So the energy surrounding you, Pisces, is the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Lover's energy. The challenge here is the High Priestess, the King of Pentacles, the Queen of the Ocean in the reverse. And in the outcome, we have the Three of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. And this is going to be the advice. We're going to pull this over at the end. Okay. So I feel like there was a, a very big decision that was made uh, between you and another person uh, to separate. To go your separate ways. And even though there was a lot of love in between the two of you, it's like you had to leave the past in the past and move forward. And I do still, I feel here, Pisces, that you still feel an intense connection with this person. Lover's energy. And I also feel here, you were the one that ultimately made the decision to walk away. Part of the challenge was you walking away was kind of trying to control the outcome in the situation. It's never possible. And I feel here you're kind of regretting the error of your ways. I will say there is an energy of betrayal, so this person feels betrayed by this decision. You walking away. Okay. I feel like they maybe felt like you chose somebody else over them. And maybe that wasn't the case. That's just this person's perception of what transpired. I do feel like there is an intense connection. This queen of the ocean is the empress the emperor but part of the challenge is either you either this person or maybe both of you were kind of in and out back and forth one foot in one foot out and that's where this regret comes in so now you're sitting here thinking about this person how do i get this person back into my life but i honestly feel here there is a need to kind of take a step back change your perspective on this. Like, what can I learn through this process? Because there's a reason why you walked away from this person in the first place. Whether it was to ultimately try to have control, you didn't like how this person was showing up. Let's be honest. And I feel here it was causing a lot of worry, a lot of stress, a lot of arguments. You felt unheard, unseen, unappreciated. And so by you taking a step back, it was the right move, even though you didn't have the right perspective. I do feel like there is going to be an opportunity for you and this person to have a conversation. But I do feel like there is a need to stand your ground in what you believe is right. If you're not clear on what that is or why you walked away, right now is the perfect time to get clear, Pisces. So, 
Pull over your advice guidance moving forward. Proceed with caution. Page of Wands. Nine of Swords. The Moon. Seven of Wands. Thank you guys again for all the love and support for rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings. It's all linked below in the description box. Pisces. It's causing a lot of stress, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear. I also feel like there's a lot of unknowns, a lot of things that are hidden here. Whether this is you, whether this is this person. But ultimately, there was a reason why you walked away from this. So you need to be honest with yourself about this when this person comes back around because if they show back up the same way, it's going to be a repeat of the same cycle. It's just going to give you an opportunity to get a little bit more clear on why you walked away. If you're able to get clear on why you walked away when this person comes back around, it's going to give you an opportunity to set those boundaries. But you're not going to be able to do that if you're not clear on why this ended in the first place. So it's important to take the time right now to get clear. Pull out the pendulum, sum up your reading, and give you a second to hold that question in your mind. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Most important message for Pisces spirit, what do my Piscean friends need to know? That's a yes. That is a yes. Your soul truth message here, Pisces. Am I ready to let go of the buried shame? The feeling of shame is the lowest energy frequency there is. You live in shame. You live in darkness. What part of you is ready to stand up in the light? Is there any shame from a past experience that's ready to be healed? Today's soul action, heal the shame by giving it a name. Bring it to the light and let it be seen, heard, and healed. It's revival season. Replace the shame with your soul's truth. My soul's truth is love. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Pisces, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.